Hi, in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to write JSON using Jackson in Java. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notations. It's a very commonly used format for delivering data to applications. It um, works with key value pairs inside of an array. J JSON can handle a variety of complicated tasks and Jackson, which comes from faster XML, simplifies the reading and writing of JSON. Jackson's not the only game in town. Google has one. Other people have some parsers and writers. Um, I chose Jackson because it's also used in Spring Boot and other Java frameworks. All right, so I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio Code. Uh, we need some dependencies. I've already created myself a Maven application, and I've added two of the dependencies I need. I need Jackson annotations. I need Jackson data bind. I also need Jackson core. So to add those in, in Visual Studio Code, you hit the plus next to dependencies, you search for what you want, and make sure whichever one you pull comes from faster XML. If the word bundle appears with this, like it does here, I have problems with that, so I'm going to get rid of it. If you're not using Visual Studio Code, if you're using NetBeans or Eclipse, there's a way to manage your POM file within that document. All right, so now my process here is we're going to create a class for the JSON. We're going to build an array of that class. We're going to populate it. And then I'm going to build JSON using Object Mapper. Object Mapper comes from faster XML. It's what reads and writes your object. It depends upon a class. So I'm going to build my class here. We call it person.java. And you want to create all your variables. Make sure they're private. If they're not, Jackson really gets angry. And this JSON can be as simple, as complicated as you want. So I'm going to create an array here. I'm going to create a list. And I need to import Java Util. Okay, so from here, you need your setters and getters. Constructor, um, you don't need a two string. I'm going to pause and do this off camera. Okay, so I've got my class built. I now I'm going to go back to my main. And I'm going to create an array of the class and populate it. Now, this is just some basic. Java code. So again, I'm going to do it off screen. Um, but the idea is you're going to have some data that you want to write out as JSON. Whether you pulled this from a database, you brought this down off a web service, or you're generating internally from users, whatever. I'm going to put this in a public variable. It does not have to be array list. I just like array lists. And I'm put do this in a me method just so it looks nice. I'm gonna call that method here in main. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go off screen and populate this. Okay, so I've populated my list. I created four variables of type person. I've added them to my list, and just to prove they're there, do a quick run, and there they are, the order I put them in there. So I can get rid of this because I know it works. So I've got data, I now want to convert this into JSON. JSON can be done manually, but it's silly to do so. So we're going to use Jackson to pull this off. So I'm going to create a variable called object type object mapper. Now it's angry me because it wants some imports. And it added in com.fasterxml Jackson data bind object mapper. Okay, what Mapper does for me, it either reads or writes the string. 
it gets it does cast some error, so I'm gonna put this inside a try catch. I'm just gonna handle all exceptions here. It's normally a JSON processing exception, so I'll do it right. Normally you'd handle this. I'm just going to spit an error out if there's a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself some JSON string. Now there's a lot of stuff that's given to you. I'm going to use write value of string. Maybe. And what you have to pass in is your object. And then I'll display the screen. Let's do a run. Boom. There's my Jackson. Literally two lines of code. Now that's kind of ugly. Computers don't mind reading that. People hate reading that. If you want it to be pretty, you do it like this. I'm going to do writer with default pretty printer. It's a great name. Right value string again, passing the list. And I'll put a new line in front of this so you can see it. Run it. Bam. There it is, pretty. Notice how Jackson correctly converted that into an array inside the JSON. It did so because my class had an array inside of it, or in my case, a list, so Jackson just handled it. Okay. If you take a look at Mapper, I've got all sorts of things I can mess with here. Like I can write out to a file. I can write to a resource, I can write to a string, I write to a whole bunch of different locations, whatever you need to do. All right. So now you've seen how to use Object Mapper to write a simple JSON object based on an object you already have in class. All right. Good luck. Thanks for watching.